Regarding the mechanism, uh, let's say that uh, if we base our, uh, uh, if we focus on uh, the positron emission tomography, the mechanism is to have uh, a particular molecule which uh, is known to uh, be able to target on a particular structure on, uh, uh, on a cancer cell. And if this molecule can be labeled with the radionuclide that emits some radiations, then we are able to follow the path of this molecule. A nice example is uh, for neuroendocrine tumors, which are rare tumors uh, that are increases, increasing in the prevalence in these years. Uh, they overexpress some receptors, which are the somatostatin receptors, and it's, is, is it possible to uh, use uh, uh, peptides which are labeled with radionuclides that can be detected by positron emission tomography and these peptides uh, uh, will give us uh, two information. First of all, if there, are, there is overexpression of this uh, uh, receptor and secondly, if uh, uh, where the tumor is uh, in, the, in the patient body. And the next step for this kind of uh, targeted therapy is to modify the molecule and have not something which can be seen, but a radionuclide that can give a treatment, so a localized radiotherapy. So this model works very well for some uh, uh, diseases like neuroendocrine tumors and uh, uh, it is quite easy because you see the target and then you can treat the target. Other examples which are under research are related to the PSMA expression on metastatic prostate cancer, which is again a, a real uh, uh, challenge for the healthcare. Or for instance, a radio-labeled antibody uh, uh, conjugated with rituximab, which is a monoclonal antibody which targets CD20 and can be used for successful treatment of uh, some diseases like lymphomas.